I finally picked up my Copper Age Grail. Please leave a like while the intro plays. Here is my 1,000th subscriber giveaway. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe in my videos. And you have a chance to win this Darth Vader number 3 CGC 9.8. Good luck, everyone. How's it going, everyone? My name is Jordan, and welcome to Basement Collectibles. And if you like Copper Age Grails, toys, movies, and arcades, please consider subscribing for more great content. I've been keeping an eye out for this book for the last couple of years. I missed out on a couple, and I'll go through that in a, in a bit, but... Um, I was looking at certain prices. The prices started getting higher and higher. I thought I would, maybe I was going to lose out on it or at least go for a low grade if I was going to buy it in CGC. Um, and then in the last couple of weeks, I was looking behind my toy display and I just thought, you know, I've got the first appearance of He-Man and Skeletor. I have the first appearance of the Ghostbusters. So what else am I missing? So with that, this being one of my favorite cartoon shows growing up, Loving the movies, remembering lining up to see the first movie with a couple of my friends with one of the parents hanging behind us. The comic is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a third print. Um, I definitely have to get this pressed. They still have uh, an old backing board, obviously not to fit this magazine size. So this definitely should need a press if this is backboard's been in here for quite a while. A little bit of background of this um, book. I, I purchased a couple books off this gentleman in the past. He mentioned that he had a third print. It seems in really good or great shape. Um, can't really see anything on the spine. I don't know if you can see from there because the bag is pretty old. But I was able to get this book for $500. So I think that's a steal. Um, he was happy with the $500. So I think it was a win-win for both of us. Um, I didn't have to go through eBay or anything like that. And he was also within Canada, so that helped with the shipping costs. So for $500, let's see right now what the going rate is of what I hope this grade hopefully will come out as on, for CGC. A couple books I missed on before I ended up picking up this one. I, uh, somebody in Canada had a second print in a 7.0 CGC. He was selling it for around $2,100. I was going to ask to see maybe if I could knock it down to 1900 I didn't act on it. He didn't seem to uh, appreciate my $1,900 offer. He ended up selling on an eBay for $2,400. So I missed out on a second print. Um, there's been a couple third prints here and there. This was before all the turtle books went up. So I think it was uh, I think it was around in February. You could get a 6.0 for about $550 on eBay. So maybe I should have picked uh, a couple of those up at the time. You know, make a little bit money so I could get a book like this, and hopefully, if it can reach around the nine, you know, probably the highest this book can uh, get in CGC grade is a 9.0. And right now, you're looking at about a $1,200 book, and hopefully, it doesn't go any lower than 8 8.0. And um, the price of uh, an 8.0 CGC right now is going for about a thousand dollars. I think I'll be fast tracking this to CGC. I've heard that the magazine submissions are taking even longer than just a normal uh, comic book submission. So if that's, uh, if that is true, let me know in the comments below. Um, the last time you've sent out some magazine um, submissions to CGC and how long did it take or have you got anything back recently in a magazine size? Um, I might fast track this with 10 other books. Again, just to get the 10 books into their system because there's been such a delay. I don't know if I want the books sitting there and not um, have not been calculated or put in the system. If you know, it could be till December now till I get those other 10 books back. So I'll let you guys know what I end up doing with this. And if I fast track it, obviously I can't wait to uh, make a video on it and um, let's see what uh, what grade I get. My kids are a huge fan of the turtles, so when I opened that up in front of them, they were pretty excited to see that uh, it was a turtles comic over the X Men titles that um, in a previous video for uh, my three thousand dollar budget, um, I had uh, I think it was a second print at the time for around three thousand dollars that I could get in a CGC. Since that video, all the X Men <laughs> books have gone up even higher and pretty much out of my price range, but. Um, with both my daughters being uh, huge turtle fans, I was happy in another previous video that uh, I got the first appearance of Jenica. And after the first appearance of Jenica, sorry, the first appearance of Jenica as a turtle, I have the 
This is the second print. I have a couple of the first prints, cover A and B at CGC. And that's the CGC submission that I'll probably end up getting back in September. But uh, it's really neat that there is a girl turtle, again, with uh, myself having two daughters. Um, they are enjoying the turtles even more. And I really hope that Jenica ends up making it onto a TV show or movie one day. Growing up, I thought I had the first appearance of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I had the Archie comic um, number one when the cartoon was coming out. So I'll, again, I never knew this even existed probably until um, I was in either late public school or early high school when I found out that there was an actual Turtles book before the Archie comics number one. So I still have that original Turtles book. Um, but yeah, I honestly thought I had the first appearance of the Turtles until I found out there was a, a first print that is very, very hard to come by. <laughs> I've been really enjoying the new IDW Turtles series. Um, let me know in the comments below if any of you are reading the new Turtles books. Um, I went back on a few issues um, about certain deaths, certain new appearances. So that's really interesting how Kevin Eastman's killing off certain characters, bringing certain characters back. So um, hopefully I can catch up on most of uh, the issues soon. But uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you're reading any turtles. So that's it for this video, everybody. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my $500 purchase of TMNT, the third printing issue number one. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Please leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing. And for everybody else, thanks again for subscribing. Have a great, have a great weekend. And I'll see everybody on Monday for new comic book day. Take care.